What's going on guys, Mr. Domo here and welcome back to the channel. So today I have a review video this time on the Storm Collectibles Street Fighter 2 Ken. And uh, so this is my first uh, Storm Collectibles. I, I totally missed out on grabbing some of those uh, Mortal Kombat action figures that were being released uh, like I just want to say at the beginning of this year or you know last year but I am a huge fan of Street Fighter 2. I know this is Street Fighter 2 Ultra, but uh, I mean, still, it's it's pretty much the same game. Uh, I grew up as a kid playing. That was my first arcade game. So, you know, when I saw these action figures, I was like, heck, yeah, like, I'm going to go and pick them up. I know SH Figure Arts uh, has done this already, but, you know, I, I, I own, you know, Dragon Ball S SH Figure Arts, and so I wanted to do something with uh, Storm Collectible, and so I wanted to try them out because, you know, uh, I really haven't heard any bad things about them, so, um, so yeah, so here it is. Here's the Storm Collectible Street Fighter 2 Ultra Ken, and you can see all the accessories. You got this big old window. You have that cool picture art of, uh, you know, just like in the arcade of Ken, and, you know, on the side here, you do have a picture of Ken, and there it says at the bottom, Street Fighter Ultra, the final challengers. And then on the back side, <clears throat> you do have all the different poses and the accessories that come with this guy. And I, I gotta say, man, there's a lot going on here. So, uh, you know, you have his um, his flaming kind of like uppercut, you know, his adukin. And uh, I mean, and then he comes with several like face facial expressions. So. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so very nice. And then on the other side is the same kind of uh, picture art there of Ken. And so uh, that's pretty much it. Nothing really on the bottom. Just pretty much the same thing. And here's the top. And so um, I'm really excited because like I said, this is my first time uh, reviewing a Storm Collectibles. So uh, I, I can't wait to jump into it. So let's go ahead, open up this package and check out this figure. All right, guys, so there he is, Ken from Street Fighter 2 Ultra, out of the box. And I gotta tell you, uh, honestly, I'm really digging this action figure. I love the accessories. And also, to me, additional bonus is this cool background that you get. Now, this is really cool. So you get this cool background. It's all pixelated, just how it was back in the day. It was like eight or 16-bit graphics. And it's really nice that they added that. So that came, that was literally behind the action figure in the box. And I, I just love it because obviously this is uh, Kent's uh, stage and it's really cool. So if you want to display it with his background, you could do that. I think that's a really cool addition. Like I said, this is my first time having a uh, Storm collectible action figure. And so far I am really digging it. So. This dude comes with a ton of accessories and so I'm going to go through the accessories and then I'll talk about the action figure and, and the uh, articulation. But uh, So the first uh, accessories, obviously it's already on him, is this kind of like this flame uh, fist, you know, when he's doing that uppercut. And this is really dope looking i mean look at that it's translucent uh you got it you know going it's changing colors from like a real uh yellow to an orange to red to a dark red here and this is really nice you can see it it's really well molded i love how it looks and it's it really it's easy you just snap on right onto his fist right there and that i mean that looks really clean so uh really cool so you get that uh accessories there so that is really cool and then of course the fireball or the adukin here and i'll take it out of the stand and i mean this is really nicely done it's like in layers so as you can see this part right here kind of rotates and if you notice inside, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's kind of like a residual effect of the hands while he's doing that, uh, you know, that uh, special move, you know, the Duke move. And so you can see the hands there as they're formed inside. And that is really cool. It's all enclosed. So there you go. You have the back end. Uh, so it's got some like residual kind of like points to it. And this is really clean. And of course, you know, there's a peg hole right here and you do get this nice stand. 
And what's interesting about the stand is there is multiple uh, areas where you could insert the, uh, you know, the stick here, the pole, but it's also like in different segments. And so here, as you can see, you can see all the different segments of that pole. So uh, I'm gonna have my camera focus. There we go. So you got, you know, one, two, three, four, and then of course, five there and so that way you could kind of like take this apart and arrange it however uh different height that you want it to be and i mean it's just it's real easy you just plug in right in there and it's it's perfect and so like you you have the option of how you want to display this uh fireball effect with your action figure so if you want it super high or you want it super low you have that option and i think it's really really clean and so uh the other accessories of course you know he does have the uh two fists there that's already on the action figure on ken and then of course you do get the ones for uh you know having that special move attack the uh, duke in there so you have that effect there so you have two of them that are somewhat uh, i would say semi-closed and then you have another set that's kind of similar, but they're a little bit more open. The fingers are a little bit more spread out. And what I've noticed too, that these are not just like hard plastic, you know, it's like soft plastic there. So you can bend them, but um, you don't have to worry about like bending them too much and then they're gonna stay in that position. They obviously, uh, they go and they return back to their uh, original uh, position. So that is really cool and the nice details there. And then you have fully open hands, and these are clean too, real nice, good details on them. Uh, and they just look really, really good. And so for the facial, uh, facial expression, you do have four interchangeable heads. So you do have the regular kind of serious uh, look of Ken there. So that is really nicely done there. And then you do have uh, one where he's, you know, excited, you know, he's got a little uh, smirk to him. So really cool and again, you know it's soft plastic so uh very nice and it's really nicely done the scope there uh and then of course the paint is really done nicely and then you have one where he's kind of like uh doing his special move there so that is really nice his mouth is open uh more tense uh look to him more of a tense expression there and then my favorite one is of course when you're uh, if you ever play the game and you're at the continuation screen uh, after you lose uh, you get that beat up face and I this is really really cool I love this this looks really clean I, I, it's, I think it's a great addition and uh, I know that um, the other Street Fighter characters all have a face like this where they're all beat up so I think that's a cool addition so uh, you, so you do get one, two, three, four interchangeable hands. You get four interchangeable faces. And then, of course, you have the two, um, you know, special effect and then the base for it. Now, Ken does not actually come with his base for himself. So you're only getting the base for the actual uh, Aduken there. But Ken here, he is really nicely done. Like I said, uh, overall, I mean, I think the scope of of, of the uh, figure, you know, the body and everything is really nicely done. You can see all the uh, muscle details on his, you know, arms and chest and the legs and everything like that. And, you know, speaking of his uniform, you know, this is kind of like a soft plastic again, kind of like a silicone there uh, for his belt, which is really nice. But what I like about it is they, they, they do apply some sort of shading, uh, not much, but a little bit of shading there. And it looks, you know, dirty and stuff like, 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 you know, like this dude's been brawling, you know what I'm saying? Like he's been fighting and stuff like that. So he's not going to have like a, a clean gi or outfit. So really nicely done. I love it. Uh, the articulation's really good with this figure. Uh, he does have good head movement so he could swivel, you know, left and right. So not a bad, um, you know, articulation there with the head or with the neck, excuse me. And then he is able to look somewhat up and not too much, but down, he definitely could look down. So that is really, really cool. Uh, and then of course here at the shoulders, he is kind of utilizing a butterfly joint there. So that is nice. So you do get some good movement there. So you kind of like, you know what I mean? He could flex his biceps right there. Uh, really cool. He does have a swivel here at the upper bicep and then down at the elbow, he has another uh you know joint there this one really doesn't swivel it's just at the upper bicep and then down at the uh wrist there you do get a swivel and then uh it is able to kind of move around a little bit but not too much you know but i, I think it's really good um 
So he could kind of bring his arms as close, probably like that much. That's a, that's probably how close you could get it. I mean, I think I, I try to put it closer, but the uh, the arms kind of popped out. Now for the uh, the stomach or the ab right there, uh, he does have a nice you know arch, so he could kind of do an ab crunch there, and then he could really uh, you know arches back there so uh really nice so there you go look at that so you get that nice you know kind of a, a flex of his back there so really cool and then down at the legs you know you could really have them uh spread them out you know what i mean so you could kind of somewhat do the splits uh he could kick really high which is nice uh, so you get that, you know, somewhat nice kick there and then at the knee he does have kind of a double joint there So that is really cool and then down at the ankle he does have one more joint there So uh, it's kind of like on a ball joint so he could swivel there and then of course he does have one more uh, Joint at the toe so uh, you could kind of have him go down or actually up it doesn't really go down it just kind of flattens out after that so I mean articulation is really good obviously it's really tight which is good I mean you never, you never want to have loose figures and stuff like that now uh, the top gi here doesn't really come off it's it's all one piece so you can't really take it off you know uh, I, I feel like if you try to you might rip it because it is a soft plastic but I think overall I think it's really really uh, I think it's clean, you know, I, I, he's a big dude. It's good. It's nice. He does come in like at, at um, I want to say he is at, at seven inches uh, tall. So that is really cool. And I think it looks really, really good. I mean, he's he got a lot of accessories. He does have good balance. So if you get him, he, he does stand on his own. So there's no real issues there when you want him to uh, to stand. So I'm trying to get him to stand here. There you go. So really not too bad. I mean, really great figure. And you know, like I said, this is my first Storm collectible. And so far right now, I'm loving it. I missed out on the Mortal Kombat one. I'm a big, you know, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter uh, fan, cause those are the arcades that I grew up with. But I think this is a really sick uh, uh, action figure. And my goal is just to collect the, the, the eight selectable players, you know, that you could play, uh, you know street fighter with so uh i'm not gonna do any of the bosses so uh right now uh i'll probably do the uh review on ryu or ryu because that's who i have right now so i'll probably post that up soon and then i still have guile uh on pre-order which i don't know why it's taking so long to to fulfill that so i'm still waiting for that guy to come in and hopefully they continue on with this uh you know street fighter 2 ultra uh, you know storm collectible action figures i think they're really great and i love to have them all displayed you know the original uh eight that were able to you know play back in the day so um i think that's pretty much it i mean uh i i'm i'm a big fan now of these uh, storm collectibles so i think they're great action figures and i think the the, the plastic is a little bit different you know like a lot of it's really soft so um i don't know if that's like the norm if you guys you know have you know storm collectible action figures let me know like is that how they all are because i i don't have any of the uh, mortal kombat so i didn't end up getting those so i wonder if they're all like that but i think these are great and so that's it i just wanted to share that with you guys uh thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed subscribe and i will talk to you guys in the next video